Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Last time, we made it through Muto's tomb to get the uh, second pure metal to, you know, make our sword better. I forgot what it's called. I think it was Aquanine. Yeah, let's go with that. You know, it, it kind of fits the little water theme that the Isle of Ruins had. But yeah, today we're going to, well, yeah, hopefully the location of the final temple. And I, I mean, I say final, but this is technically the penultimate because I sequence broke. Still did not know that was a thing, you know, that could be done, but no, well, whatever. Also, it's just occurring to me, I'm going to be fighting Jolene. I don't want to do that. So let's see if we can get to Beetle's ship first. Oh, good. Jolene's going away. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. I mentioned that's cool because that's cool. So cool. All right. We're just going to Beetle real quick to see if he has something worthwhile that he's selling. Yeah, let's board the ship. That's why I wanted to go here in the first place. All right. Ooh, a bigger bomb bag as well. 1,000 rupees? Yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and buy it. You can carry more bombs. I think that puts me up to... I, I don't know what that puts me up to. Yeah, I'll go ahead and buy that ship part. I probably won't ever even use it, but eh, it's nice to have. Plus, it's Beetle. I like giving him money. Actually, I should probably buy that potion, too. Wait, this is actually the first time I bought something from him? Oh my god. Try to earn 20 points and earn a silver membership. Well, okay, let's see if I can earn a silver membership by buying this... Oh, so it's every 100 rupees you spend that you get a point. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy a red potion because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need it. Okay. And know what? How, how much for for that? Helmrock plume. Yeah, let's go ahead. That should put me up at 17 points. You know what? Fine. Might as well. I have the rupees for it. Thanks to you, I'm sold out. Bye, please come. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the, the membership points? Thank you. Earn 23 points. You're an official silver member. Silver members get 10% off all merchandise. Ooh, and a wonderful prize. You should receive your prize in the mail within a week. So please be patient. Next shoot for the Elite Gold membership. Oh, okay. We're going to be getting some mail from Beetle in a week. That's, uh, that's, uh, pretty, uh, pretty, pretty quick. I mean, it's not like the mailman has wings. Oh, wait. Oh, well, snail mail and whatnot. Please let me get to the other quadrant before Jolene tries to kill me. It's gonna be close. Darn, 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 darn. Okay, we just made it down here, and I believe I want to, I can, I can make that straighter. Well, okay, I believe I want to go right here, that place. No, not in the Northeastern Sea, but just where I sort of like looped around. But since there's uh, some treasure along the way, let's try to grab it, shall we? Just making sure Jolene is nowhere to be seen. You've got to be... Oh, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> it's just a Georg that I can't seem to hit. I, I, I'm... I, Okay, whatever. He decided to go. Oh, no, another enemy that I probably won't be... Where is the enemy? Is that it? That enemy in the sky? Enemy in the sky? You can fly twice as high? Take a look. It's in a book. Reading the Rainbow Gold Frog. Okay, there we go. He's gonna teach us something. I shot by the big frog spread the word about you. So you wanna know how to draw on the cyclone slate to fly right here? I mean, you know, it's not like it's gonna be all that important considering this is like the last island, me thinks. Whatever here goes, pay attention. Ooh, a W with a line on top. Here's the mark, draw this to return here. Um, let me just... 
I can do better than that. Okay. Hey, you better write it down somewhere. I already wrote it down. Did you get that, buddy? Yes, I did. I'm out of here. If you see my fellow frogs, give them my best. Ribbit. Okay. I think I'm over the spot anyway. Let's go ahead and try to salvage. That was getting a little bit on the confusing side. Oh, no. Okay. I am being very cautious. So far, so good. I haven't hit anything. God, that, that's why I don't talk. Oh my lord. Okay, um. No! I'm not good at this. I can't break the salvage arm. I haven't finished paying it off yet. Oh no. God damn. Okay. Whatever. Well, I, I didn't want that treasure anyway. I'm. I'm almost tempted to start over, but at the same time, it's not even that worth it. I mean, all I did was just fly down here. What's the deal with all this ice? We can't dock, Link, but I had one of my brilliant ideas. No, really, do you see it already? Try to course around the ICI. We'll obliterate all with the cannon. Okay. Where's the enemies, though? Okay, holy shit. Is there, like, an army flow? Okay, wow. I just saw nothing but, like enemies on the map like a whole legion just coming after me oh no they ain't so tough all right now let's chart a course around that island and shoot cannons at it and jump I guess we can just clear up the whole ice thing, why not? Just shoot as many cannons as possible. This is actually a pretty cool concept, though I'm not too sure like how realistic this is. Then again, I'm talking about realism in Legend of Zelda. That seems kind of pointless. Okay, I wish these enemies would leave me alone though. Oh my lord. Where are these enemies at? Because I'm over here, I'm trying to clear ice off an island and everything's trying to kill me. I mean, it would be nice if I could hit like one, thank you, okay. And of course, oh my lord. These enemies, just leave me alone. I'm too focused on killing the enemies, back. okay. <sighs> well, looks like I gotta wrap up the other side of the island if it wasn't for like everything in the planet attacking me. Where are they? There they are. Jerk faces, McFace jerks. Let's die. Okay. Now I can focus on these again. Oh my god. These 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 enemies are annoying. It doesn't help that I have like one hit point left. And you know, not a single one of them is dropping a heart. I mean, yeah, rupees are fine and all, but. I'd rather, you know, get health. No, kill, 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 kill the... Okay, he's dead. Okay. 
I swear to God, these enemies, though. Uh. Sorry for not talking here, but I mean, I'm, I'm kind of like on edge. And I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for causing, I mean, for allowing the salvage arm to just be destroyed. Will they please leave me the hell alone? Okay, you know what? I know it's the end of the line, but okay. Whatever. Shoot this. They just keep coming! <laughs> this is so... No, no, no. Just, just go back. Turn around. Leave them alone. Hopefully we can sail fast enough away from them. Okay, yes, the red rupees are fine, and I appreciate... Yes, but okay, I just... Why? Where'd you even come from? Just hurry up and fall, ice block. Okay. We're good. No, no. Okay, can we just teleport to the island now that all the ice is going? <laughs> That's all the ice is singing into the sea. Hey, I wonder what kind of bizarre creatures are waiting to welcome us. My ship is on fire. Oh, well, they last shouted at us. Either way, let's go there, Link. Oh, Lord. I'm not going to make it. I am not going to make it. I am not going to make it. Where are these foes at? Oh, okay, they disappeared. Oh, my God. I'm just... My boat's on fire, man. And not in the good way. In the bad way. In the bad way. You were supposed to keep me safe, demon boat. What happened? Well, kid, I was wondering what it'd be like walking on a big ice chunk. And now I know. It's real. Frosty. Oh, looks like I got mail. And he sneezed. As cold as it is, it warrants my treasure-seeking heart. Okay. Alright, well, let's talk to you, Abomination. You guy, you came from out there, outside the ice? Hey, what's your deal? Never seen that Anuki before? You gonna stare all day at us, or can you talk too? What? You wanna know where the pure metals are? How should I know? You gotta take a question like that to the Island Chief. Me? No idea. Okay, well, let's go talk to the Island Chief. What does this have to say? Isle of Frost. The Island Chief lives in the house to the hill... Oh, on the hill to the northeast. Okay. Now, where's that mail thing? Because I got mail. The home of a somewhat smart Anuki. Let's talk to him first. If he's somewhat smart. Nobody thought the trouble between the Anuki and Yuk was a good thing. So we Anuki and those hairy Yuk got together a hundred years ago and entered a little to a peace agreement. I see. Was it fair? Yeah, it was fair, yeah. O okay. What happens if you say the other thing? Peace? It's a peace treaty, you know. Peace. Peace is like... I think it's just like a piece of cake. That's exactly what peace is. Th th that, that is the smart Anuki. That is the smart Anuki. Apparently he went to college. I would demand my tuition money back. The Yuk tribe that lives over in the ice fields to the east are crazy animals. Those beasts are so crazy I don't even want to get into it. That crazy. The home of a more or less sensitive Anuki. Alright, let's talk to him. Apparently he's in touch with his feelings. You guy, did you hear the big news? One of those hairy Yukas sneaked over here. Huh? What do you mean? That was... Uh, okay, fine. Let's act like we already knew. What? You know? Hey, maybe. You're the hairy Yuke dressed up like one of us? No. I knew it. Okay, apparently we're dealing with the moron. So let's just say I heard. And then let's just say, yeah, we are your worst enemy trying to kill you. What? You're a Yuke? Uh, really? You serious? And he's screaming, and... Apparently he just had a seizure. Okay, so, um... We're dealing with creatures that aren't that smart. How sad. How sad. They're all morons. I need to get out of here. Special delivery, watch out, incoming. Okay, yes, yes, yes. This is a letter from Beetle. Oh! Hey, it didn't take a full week after all. Here goes. 
Silver membership notice. Thank you for continuing to support my stores. Hi, it's me, Beetle. Your recent purchase now puts you at, uh, uh, puts your points at 20. Yay for you. Thus, your membership has been upgraded to silver. Yay again. As thanks, please find attached a freebie card. Ooh, free. Use it at any of my stores. Beetle. Bye. You got the freebie card. Use it at Beetle Shop to shop for free. Cool. And that's the end of it. Got all that, sir? Then I'm out of here. Okay, next time I see Beetle, I'll just go ahead and get my free junk, yo. So, woolly world we live in. Woolly and Harry and Wild. Daydream for a second and they might get you. Poof, you're gone. Just like that. Interesting. These guys are paranoid and dumb. That's a deadly combination. What, are you looking for the Island Chief's house? Yes. You know, here's an idea. Instead of asking me, go read the signs they got around here. Well, fine. Fine, I'm up here trying to strike a conversation with you, but you want to be like that? Ugh. Can we keep from freezing in a place like this? Maybe it's your Eskimo hats or coats, I'm guessing? One guy toughen up and pack a little blubber on you. Heh <laughs> Hit you. Okay, then. Island Chief's house? Oh, this is the Island Chief's house. Okay. And there he is. You, guy, I'm the Island Chief of the Anuki. You got a name, green guy? What'd you say? Link-a-boo? So, Link-a-boo, <laughs> my tribe's been having this trouble lately. I thought maybe you'd take care of it for us. Uh, wait, now, hold on now. I, I didn't I didn't commit to anything. What's that you say? You're actually saying your name's Link? You sure about that guy? All right, all right, whatever you say. Anyway, you want to know about the Azurine, right? I scratch your fur, you scratch mine. I guess. Well, this might get a bit long, so make yourself real comfortable. We and Nuki have got one enemy on this island. They're the Yuk. There was a lot of bad blood between our ancestors. So 100 years ago, we made an agreement. The Anuki live in the west, and those hairy Yuk live over there in the east on the great ice field. And that was the deal, but now some tricky Yuk has snuck over here. And he's taken one of my villagers! Oh no! That's pretending to be him and living with us, all comfortable-like. And now we come to the part where I need something from you. Find the Yuk who's impersonating the villager and kick him out. Did you get all that? Do I have to repeat myself? Yeah, I got it. Yeah, alright, go up to the Anuki estates up north, Link. When you get there, you gotta figure out which guy is actually the Yuk. Yuks are liars, every one of them. This one will lie to you, so don't be gullible. If you find him, I might tell you where the Azurine is, just saying. Alright then. Let's go find a dirty, rotten scoundrel. What was that crazy island chief blabbering about? I get this weird feeling that he's not telling us the truth. But we're here for the pure metals, we'll just have to be careful. Let's go find the Yuk so we can get that pure metal, Link. Yes. Let's. You're not in the Yuka Stakes, I mean the uh, Anuki Stakes, but I just want to talk to you. Rivals, I don't know how long, I gotta be honest, I don't even know how it all started. Interesting, so is this just like, uh, wow, I was about to say Disney, Dr. Seuss's The Butter Battle Book? So I guess that Azurine Pure Metal thing was once ours, but then we got in the big spat with the Yuka in the East and then got nabbed. That was like ages and ages ago. Grandpa used to rant all about it when we sat around the stew pot. Yeah, the Butter Battle book, that was a book by Dr. Seuss. It was essentially an allegory of the Vietnam War. Well, not Vietnam, but just the Cold War in general, and how, like, you know, everybody had access to weapons of mass destruction, but were too afraid to use it, so everybody was just at, like, a little perpetual standoff, and nobody even knew how the battle, I mean, how the little animosity started to begin with, although, like, in that book, it was because, you know, everybody was fighting over what side of the bread to put the butter on, and that's just a little allegory of saying, like, well, you know what, at the end of the day, all these problems are just sort of, like, really minuscule, and there's really no need to fight, and we need to get rid of, like, all these crazy nuclear weapons and junk, but all right! Anuki Estates. Yeah, let's go up in here. Okay. So one of them is a dirty, rotten liar, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it, yo. I'm going to get to the bottom of it indeed. Dobo's house. All right, let's talk to Dobo. Hello, Dobo. Don't mind the sword. They call me Dobo. You're looking for the Yuku's a person in one of us, right? There's one easy way to tell you. The Yuk are liars. And Mazo's honest. The guy never lies. Just have to get that off my chest. Okay, so, apparently Mazo is a lie. I mean, Mazo never tells the truth. This is Kumu. Wait, no, Mazo always tells the truth. What am I talking about? I don't know. I'm dyslexic. Okay, yeah, I'm Kumu. I, I'm not really dyslexic. And yeah, the Yuk you're looking for is a liar, no doubt about it. I'd say either Mazo or Aru is lying to you. Thought you'd want to know. Thank you, Kumu, for that information. 
I'm Hintobo. I hear things. I know people. Heard you're looking for the liar. I'll give you a hint, but it's not going to come cheap. Fine, I shall give you 100 rupees. Don't worry your head about guys who say that other guys don't lie. The guys who say that others are honest won't lie to you. Why, you ask? Because then there will be two liars. Why, again, you ask? There's only one liar. So knowing that, look at the ones who accuse others of lying and you'll find your liar. Haha, <laughs> brilliant, right? No? Interesting. So let's talk to Fofo. What do you have to say for yourself, Fofo? Yeah, my name is Fofo, you heard that right. Sure you know this, but the youth, they do nothing but lie. And Gumo never lies. Just saying. Okay. Interesting. Also, let me go back here because I wasn't even paying attention. You're Kumu. So you're accusing people of lying, Kumu. You seem very suspicious. Very suspicious and date. My name's Gumo. Either Fofo or Rue has got to be lying to you. Wait, what? I just wanted to tell you that. Okay. Aru's house. I should be taking notes on this, actually. My name's Aru. Between you and me, Kumu is lying. And I'll leave it at that. Wow. You just went right out with it, huh? Aru. Interesting. Mazo's house. They call me Mazo. I don't care if you believe me, but... Uh... I don't care if you... I don't care if you believe me, but me and Dobo only tell the truth. Just thought I'd say that. Okay, so Aru is the only one who's accusing people of lying. And we talked to Hintobo, and he said, you know, like, if somebody's gonna accuse somebody, they're the real liar. Otherwise, there'd be two liars, and we can't have two liars now, can we? Well, I mean, we, we can, but for the sake of purposes of this puzzle, probably not. At least I hope so, because I don't really want to put too much effort into this and actually take notes and junk. But all right, you are liars. One of them's got to be lying to you. Ask, ask, and then ask some more. Hit them with some, the the tough questions. Find the imposter uh, exposed to you for what he is. Crap. Okay, fine. Let's go back up there then. I thought we just had to tell him, but no, we actually have to do like investigations and cross examinations, like. You know, I don't, I don't even know what I'm trying to get at. What? No way you can be saying I'm the suspect. You don't think I'm the you can disguise, do you? Yes. Get back. I said stay back. I'm innocent. If you come at me, I swear I have to protect myself. Don't come any closer. Think about what you're doing. Don't be stupid. All you have to do is say you made a mistake. Book him, Dano. Hey, how'd you figure it out? I thought I had an amazing costume. You're a uke. You look so innocent. You look just like a. How do you know who the hell a rue is, Celia? You okay? Whatever. Don't do anything stupid and try to fight. Turn yourself in. Be quiet. If you're yelling more with that squeaky voice, it drives me wild. He is some kind of monster. I'm gonna eat you. No, I'm not tasty. I taste awful. I'm yellow, but I don't taste anything like delicious fruit. Can can we just get away from this and actually fight? Well, yeah, of course not. Well, I could try and make a run for it, but I guess I might as well give in now that I've been caught. It's a show of good faith. I'll show you something good. Wait right there. Don't move. Ugh. Ugh. Ouch. What happened? That was crazy, wasn't it, Link? We went to all the trouble of finding the Yuke and he blew us away. But if we don't do anything, he'll just get away. It's not fair. Well, let's go talk to the Island Chief and tell him what happened. That whole exchange was very confusing. Also, I just want to hurry up and get to the little ice temple. Kind of want to fit all that into one part, but uh, well, I, I kind of lost a lot of time on the sea because of stupid stuff. Okay, talk. Hey, guy, I heard the story, Link. Wow, word travels around fast. You did it! You scared the you right out of the village! Now, the people can rest easy and sip on their savory stew in peace, but, uh, don't you feel a little mad about getting blown away like that? Don't you want to get revenge on that uke? Maybe. Hmm, yeah, of course I want to get revenge. Yeah, <laughs> of course, nobody can resist a little revenge. This guy sounds a little suspicious. 
I'm gonna open up the cave to the Great Ice Field to the east. The Yuka are over there. Go get yourself all the revenge you can. That Azerine you're looking for should be in the Temple of Ice. Okay. I mean, it's kind of weird that, you know, somebody would advocate revenge like that, but, uh, you know, what? Let's, let's just go ahead and do it. To the Great Ice Field. What do you have to say? There's a whole pack of nasty you roaming around the Great Ice Field. What? How are they nasty? Oh, God, you do not want to know. What do you have to say for yourself, bub? Yo, guy, I got the word from the Island Chief about you. You want to head through the here or what? Yes. Well, that was... Oh, okay. I mean, I could already get around you, but... Yeah, just walk to the other side. Why not? Okay, so... This is the cave. We're going to the Great Ice Field. So far, I haven't seen anything deadly. Do not erase. The Yuke's weakness is really simple. The Yuke breathe deeply. Inhale. Mouth. A. Throw. Most of the message has been wiped off. It's impossible to read. They gave me bombs. I wonder, is this symbolic? Yes, it is. Because they're essentially Dodongos. Oh my god, the wind! Oh, okay, never mind. Ooh, bomb rocks. Interesting. Oh no, more wind! Do I have to kill all of them? Because that would be like very an ouch. Temple of Ice, glorious home to the pure metal stands ahead to open the path to the six gardens of the great. Ah, shoot. Okay, fair enough. Let's get some bombs out. Eat bomb. Now die. Okay, that's one. I was waiting for you to open your mouth. Okay, and then. That's two. Oh no, we can't touch ice, or that happens. Okay. Oh, treasure! Oh, but I can't get it just yet. More treasure! I wish I could get it. Okay, and then you are number three. And you will be victim number four. Oh, you want to be victim number five? Yes, you do. Okay. Wait, can I get that treasure? No, I cannot get that treasure. Just yet. Alright, well, where's the sixth guy? There you is! Take your medicine. It's a bomb. It's all you need. You will never feel pain again. That was your aspirin. Okay. So, now we're good to go. We are good to go indeed. That wasn't so bad. That was, like, actually really simple. Oh no! It's that uke that blew us away! And we just kicked his ass like it was no thing. I think he might have taken less hits than the other youths? I, I don't know. Okay. Well, yep, we're good to go. And this is the Temple of Ice. That, that's what I just said, Celia. That's what I just said. There's a blizzard howling outside, but it's actually pretty warm inside, like an igloo. At least we'll get out of the cold in here, Adeline. Yes. Yes, we are out of the cold, but we will not actually tackle this dungeon until next time. I, I have no clue what I'm even looking at right now. Well, I know if I do that, I can... So what, do I hit that, then set a bomb, and then run, and then make my way through? Yeah, that sounds about right. But alright, next time... We do some stuff right here in the Temple of Ice. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for some more Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. Woo! I don't even know what I was doing there. Oh, making Link dizzy. Okay, hopefully he won't throw up because, you know, the equilibrium in his inner ear has just been disrupted. But all right, see you all next time. Goodbye.